If the rumors are right, Apple's next iPhone is right around the corner and not a minute too soon since it's been years since I've experienced public iPhone snobbery. The rumor mills are hopping with reports of what new features we can expect, but who really cares what we're getting? The real question is, what do you want? I'm Donald Bell, and in this top five, we're counting down five of the features you want most from the next iPhone. These numbers come straight from polling data we've collected from CNET readers over the past few weeks, so don't you yell at me if you don't agree with what you hear. Go yell at yourself, I guess. Starting off at number five with around 9,000 votes, we asked you what long missing feature of the iPhone you wanted most in the next one, and you said NFC, near field communication. Well, I wouldn't count on it, but I understand the appeal in theory. If nothing else, it could turn the undeletable Passbook app into a functional wallet that you still won't use and can't delete. Also, the airdrop feature of iOS 7 is already bringing local file sharing without the awkward ritual of bumping your phones together. I'm glad somebody wants NFC, but it's not me. I'm not rubbing my phone on stuff. When they come out with introvert germaphobe communication, then we'll talk. All right, when we asked you what feature you wanted most from iOS 7, we got nearly 10,000 votes for number four. Control Center. I don't blame you. This is Apple finally admitting that Android had the right idea when they took all the most frequently used settings and plopped them into one panel that you can access from any screen. No more digging around for Bluetooth or clicking three places just to adjust screen brightness. With any luck, you may never have to open the real settings menu again. For number three, we asked you what kind of material you wanted the iPhone to be made from. Maybe Kevlar like the Moto X or plastic like the Galaxy S4, but instead you voted for metal. Maybe the poll got hacked by a rogue group of Beavis and Butthead fans, or maybe you just like the cold feel of hard metal in your hand. You'll probably get this one though, considering that the iPhone 5 already uses a mostly metal design. Rumor is we'll also get a low cost plastic version of the iPhone, which is exciting news for the 6% of you who voted for plastic. For number two, we asked you what was the most important hardware upgrade that would influence your decision to buy the new iPhone. And you said, better battery life, a whopping 57% of voters. I totally know where you're coming from. How much of our lives do we spend tending to our battery life? And you just know that a decade from now, all these things will harvest wireless ambient energy and we'll have to bore our kids with tales of the great lightning cable shakeup of 2012. It was mayhem, I tell you. Now the bad news is that the number one feature CNET readers want most from the next iPhone runs completely counter to your dream of better battery life. At number one, a bigger screen. We gave you a range of sizes to choose from and the most popular option was 4.7 inches. Same size as the Motorola X, but not quite the five inch plank of the Samsung Galaxy S4. The funny thing is, once we start getting all our email on our Google Glass and our tweets on our iWatch and maybe some Yahoo underwear and a Facebook girdle, the idea of actually looking at your phone is gonna seem like overkill. So there you go, five of the features that you guys want most from the next iPhone. For all the latest rumors, visit cnet.com slash iPhone and for more top fives from me, top5.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell, thanks for watching.